Hey guys, Adam Retro Moments here, and it's another beautiful day of game hunting. Today we are going to visit a brand new store. It's the Lucky Cat here. I'll show you. Maybe you recognize this one. So this is uh, another second-hand store, uh, and they're supposed to have retro games here. So uh, let's go in and check this place out. All right, guys. So the first thing we see is, of course, newer Nintendo stuff. N Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch Lite is out now. And if we turn this way, we can see some arcade machines and other kind of good stuff in here. Dragon Quest is really big in Japan. Nothing that I ever got into. But it seems like good stuff, honestly. And over there we got some PS4 stuff, of course. 3DS, more Nintendo Switch here. Down under here you'll see more of these collectible figures that are really big in Japan. So yeah, the 3DS games. 3DS is still really relevant in Japan, actually. A lot of people are uh, really into handhelds here. And I think that's mostly due to people being so busy and working a lot, so, so it's very convenient. So here's something really cool. Carino Auto. Is that the name? It's a machine uh, that you can win stuff in. And uh, all the prizes are on the side, so you're supposed to take an egg there with the grip and uh, get it in to the pipe and here's stuff that you can win according to what number you get on the egg that's really cool actually Nintendo Switch with Smash, PS Vita, Pokemon Let's Go Eve and a Super Famicom Mini and here are some faces of the winners that's really cool so you can see what they got Someone got a Super Famicom Mini there, it's pretty cool. I really like that they have this. It's a really neat idea to the store. More newer game stuff on display there. Another machine where you can win candy. And here we got some uh, Bomberman gameplay. On a newer clone console, some sort of, I guess. That's nice. Let's continue here, we got PS Vita stuff. Here comes the real deal. We got some Famicom and Super Famicom on display. Alright, let's see here, we got Snow Bros. Really good game actually, great for co-op. Super C, Japanese version, really cool artwork. Rockman games, always a good time. First Mother game, Earthbound there. And uh, the last Famicom game there, Power Blazer, it's a really good one. So let's check the Super Famicom games. We got Castlevania 4 here for uh, $18, real good price. Aliens vs Predator, beat em up game, but unfortunately not the best. Est Polis, otherwise known as Lufia. And then at the end here we got Ghost Sweeper Mikami, which is a really nice platform game. Here's another really good platformer, Super Ninja Kun. Only released in Japan, I would say that this is definitely a hidden gem. Not enough people talk about it. Sparkster and some Paradius. Paradius is always a good time. One of the wackiest shoot em ups that you can find on a SNES. Always a fun time and a lot of weird things going on in that game. Then we got Kunio Tachi no Banka, which is basically a sequel to the River City Ransom or Street Gangs games. Then we have a game that was never released in the US and really expensive in Europe, The Fireman. Super unique game, you can see some footage there, how it looks like. And at the end we got King of Dragons, a great co-op game. Alright, going further we got Sailor Moon, Super Pang, Donald Duck, Maui Mallard, but here we got a good one. Milon no Doki Doki or Doremi Fantasy. Super cool platform game released in 96 only in Japan. And just look at that price 44 bucks. I, I probably have to get that one. On eBay, it usually goes for around 80 bucks. So Then we got some other cool games here. We got Cotton 100%. A super cool shoot em up game. Only released in Japan too, actually. So there's a lot of cool exclusives here that never saw a release in the US or Europe. Let's take it the next row here, we got Double Dragon, Rushing Beat, Live a Live, I guess it's called, not sure. And then we got some Game Boy Advance stuff here, 
nothing that I'm really into that I can see there actually. And here's a little overview of the store. I, I really like how it looks like in here. It's super cool and also they are open until 12 in the night. So uh, it's definitely a big plus to go some, do some game hunting in the night. So here we got some clone consoles. Looks like an N64 and a Mega Drive controller with a really weird light gun, I guess it is. Yeah, it's always fun to look at these kind of stuff and, and uh, wonder how shitty they are because there's no way they are good than you would already know about it. Yeah, <laughs> that looks pretty neat. Look at that laser from the controller. Right, so what do we got here? Very Japanese cover there, pretty cool. And here we got Marshall Beat, look at that. So uh, it's some kind of gloves and you're supposed to do some uh, boxing. Uh, it's some kind of rhythm game. I've seen this before actually. So that's how it looks like. That's for PlayStation. All right, moving on here, we got some flight stick. Doesn't look too cool, it's for PS2. Hyper Blaster! That's how you name something in the 90s to make it sound really cool. Yeah, just another light gun I guess. And here we got some more games on display. We got Top Hunter there for uh, Neo Geo CD. Pretty cool game actually. And then we got Mega Man X3 or Rockman in this case. Also pretty good, all the Rockman games are really good, but I prefer the first X. And here's a good one, Garou, Mark of the Wolves. An outstanding Neo Geo fighting game that was all supported to the Dreamcast. And here we got some PC Engine. I'm not super into PC Engine, but uh, I'm really curious to try some games and maybe buy a console in the future. So we'll see about that. I know that the game Corion up there is a really good shoot em up and uh, also the Super Bonk series is always a good time. I'll definitely dig into that later. Some more PC Engine games, stuff that we really don't get in the West because uh, for obvious reasons I guess. We got a Zelda, limited edition Majora's Mask, big box, those are pretty cool actually. And we got some GameCube games here now. Nothing super impressive, I guess. Biohazard, Fire Emblem, Star Fox Assault. Pretty good game, a lot of people got issues with that game, but I thought it was pretty cool actually. And down here we got some controllers, PSPs. Yeah, limited edition Dreamcast controller there. We got a boxed N64 for 9.8. The condition looked really good, an ice blue color there. And look in here, here we got some serious stuff going on. We got a Game Boy Light there. That one is so cool. It's the Astro Boy uh, limited edition. That's something you don't really see every day. 16,000 yen, so about $150. And uh, I feel like I should pick that one up too. You don't really see that one so often and it can go from 300 to up to 500 maybe even more on eBay so yeah I gotta think about that gotta go back and get some more money I guess all right let's go further here we got some Super Famicom games complete in box we got some nice titles Kirby 3 was released very late in the SNES library really good game very beautiful looking graphically Super Bomberman 5 I prefer number 3 and 4 actually. Mother 2 Earthbound, that one is always there of course and it's not expensive at all which is really good because in US the price of that is just going absolutely crazy. Rockman 7 complete, 39 bucks, definitely a good price and we also got Rockman and Base there that was released very late like 97 or 98 which is also very nice looking graphically. And back there we get one of the best Sega Mega Drive games ever, Gunstar Heroes. It was not long ago, I played it actually. It's super fun, super diverse and just, you have a good time from start to finish. And it has co-op of course. Going further here, we got, uh, I think this is supposed to be like the junk section, so all the cheap stuff will be placed here. 
Super Famicom games for 100 yen, yeah, see. We're talking $1 games here. I got that complete in box already for the same price, so... Otherwise, pretty cheap, of course. Some PlayStation games, One Piece. Let's see if there's something more here that's interesting. Uh, not really. Some controllers. Oh, look, a PS3 controller. Three bucks. That's worth it. It's not often you see white one either. N64 controller. PS2. All right, let's see if we can find anything more interesting here. Let's just look a little more here. We got something. Oh. I love when they're doing these packages. So all of these games for 300 yen, so three dollars for all of this. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Nothing that I really need though. Yeah, but I guess that's it for the junk section. Let's go and look for some Super Famicom games. Yeah, this place is just amazing. Whoa. Look at all of this. Yeah, every store I've been to here in Japan just have massive amounts of games. It's absolutely insane. Anywhere you turn your head, it's just a huge wall of games. And what I like about this store here is that they have a lot of posters and a lot of game-related stuff all around. And of course, you can probably hear the music in the background too. And over here we got an interesting one. It's uh, Majiu or a King of Demons, one of the most rare games to be released for the Super Famicom. It was released in 95 and uh, there's not a lot of these out there so uh, they started printing them again and uh, they got resold from 2016. Super cool game, if you're into Castlevania you'll definitely like this one. And here's a small little corner with the uh, 360 games, so I guess we'll just skip that and start digging in here. We got the Dragon Ball Z games up there, of course. They're really famous and you can find them everywhere here. Donkey Kong games, just the same. I feel like I've had Donkey Kong games in every video I made. Let's keep looking here. We got Super Bomberman 4, 980 yen, so basically $9. Good price. Absolutely. Let's uh, try to find something unique here. Super Adventure Island 2. Super good game. I'm sure a lot of people miss this one. I know that the first one uh, got some popularity, but uh, this one was never as popular. But, uh, it's taking the classic Adventure Island gameplay and adding some new elements like RPG with an overview world map. And it's a super fun game. Let's continue looking for some good stuff here. What do we got? Mega Man games, always good. Mega Man X3, well, Rockman, of course. 14 bucks for the cart, definitely a good price, I would say. And here's X2, even cheaper. 9 bucks. Let's keep looking here. Uh, I want to find some really good games that I can recommend to you guys. This is a game, I don't know what it is. It looks kinda cool, but if it's that cheap, it's probably super shitty. Here we got some good stuff. Everyone knows this already, but look at that price. 14 bucks for Super Metroid. And the condition is absolutely perfect. That is such a good deal or uh, one of the best SNES games ever made. You know it is. And here's another classic series for the console. We're talking about Breath of Fire. 380. Three bucks for Breath of Fire. I'm pretty sure those are going for way more in the US and in Europe. However, if you don't know Japanese, then I wouldn't really recommend playing those games. Let's keep looking at other stuff now. Golden. PlayStation controller. We got a Super Famicom console for four bucks. Whoa, and it's it's looking pretty good actually. Gray and nice. I don't see much yellowing going on there. What a bargain! That's crazy. And here we got some special edition uh, packages. Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn with Virtual Fighter and uh, some uh, 
PlayStation game there that I can't recall what it is. And here we got some consoles, 29 bucks for the Super Famicom and uh, really 5.9, 59 bucks for for a Famicom. Okay. Well, I guess it's the AV Famicom, and that's usually go a little more. Neo Geo games, only Samurai Spirits, and here's uh, another uh, PC Engine game. And ooh, we got some Mega Drive here. I feel like I don't see Mega Drive that often actually, especially in these kind of stores. Let's look through here to see if there's something interesting. Shining Force, supposed to be good, I've never played that. But I do know that a lot of Sega fans adore that game series. So here we got Sonic 3. Right, it looks way different in Japan actually. It looks kind of cool actually. It's uh, it's my favorite Sonic game on the Mega Drive actually. So now we're heading over to the N64 section here. Let's see if we can find something a little more unusual. There's not always there. And as I probably said in an earlier video, the N64 stuff is really cheap in Japan. You can find a lot of games complete in box under $10. Had the usual stuff, so uh, let's keep looking for some boxed Super Fan come here. And the same goes here. I'll try to spot some uh, some more unusual games that you don't see in every store you go to. Here we got a good one: The Great Circus Mystery with Mickey Mouse. Great co-op game. Here we got Mario Picross, only released in uh, Japan. I've never played that actually. Heard a lot of good things about it, so maybe I should try it out. Yeah, let's see here. I thought I saw something more here. Yeah, Darius Twin. Great shoot 'em up game, and you can actually play co op with a friend, so uh, I'll definitely recommend this one. As you maybe know, there's not a lot of shoot 'em ups on this nest, so uh, I would still uh, consider this average too good. And it's definitely a, a good time if you bring along a, a friend to this. So yeah, check this out if you haven't. Alright, any more Super Famicom goodness here. World Heroes. Seven bucks complete. Not the best fighter, but uh, it's alright. Yoshi Safari. That's actually a really cool game. And we're talking two dollars here. Good condition, great gameplay, but keep in mind you can only play this with the Super Scope Bazooka. Oh, and of course, you do need to have a CRT as well. Alright, let's get into some Game Boy Advance stuff. We got the, the Mini Famicom Mini series here, which is really cool. I love this idea that they re released some uh, NES classics on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, small packages like this. We got Clue Clue Land, Donkey Kong, Dr. Mario, even Twin B actually. And behind here is Super Mario Bros. 2. That's so cool. And the prices seem to be pretty fair in my opinion. $17 for most of them. And here we got Mario Bros. 1. 7 bucks. I probably have to pick up that one too, uh, it's so cool actually. Right, so let's keep looking what there's more of here. GameCube. GameCube is another console that is really cheap in Japan. Both games and consoles. So if you're a big collector of GameCube, you should definitely get over here. Yeah, and here we got some loose Game Boy Advance games. Seems to be mostly regular Mario games. Yeah, it definitely is. It's great if you look for Mario games. You will easily find them here. Alright guys, let's keep looking at some uh, Famicom stuff. NES. I'm gonna try to find some games that I really like here. Here we got Wrecking Crew. It's a pretty fun game. Very simple. One of the first Famicom games to be ever released, I'm pretty sure. Here's a game I recognize, but I am not really sure what it could be. 
I recognize the artwork there. Let's turn around here and look. I usually go for the Super Famicom uh, stuff over Famicom, so uh, I'm a little uh, confused about some titles here. But here we got a good one. Devil World that was released within the Black Box series, the earlier NES games. So you got some gameplay footage here. See how it looks like if you haven't played it. It's a, it's a classic game. And here we got a Macros game for the Famicom. I had no idea that it even existed. See, that's what I'm saying. That uh, I know the Super Famicom Macros game very well. It's a great shoot 'em up, actually. But I have no idea that this one even existed. Kunio Kun, or uh, known as River City Ransom in the U.S. and uh, in Europe, we call it Street Gangs, actually. Game series, Tiny Toons Adventure. Actually, a really good platform game. And here we got Astro Boy. I had no idea Astro Boy was on uh, Famicom as well. Cool. I have to check that out later. To see if it's any good. All right. Let's pick a last game to recommend. Oh, I see this one, and I just have to talk about it because I love this game. $14, not not bad at all, I know that it goes for at least a double in Europe. Balloon Fight, you see some gameplay here, very simple game, one of the earlier titles and uh, it's, it's just awesome. Yeah, that's it about Famicom games, let's see if there's any fun uh, N64 cartridges here. Um, here we got something, Sonic Wings Assault. What a disappointment, it is not a shoot em up, classic shoot em up, it's just more like a regular flying game. But of course when N64 came and with the 3D they, they wanted to make it as, as uh, realistic as possible. It's just not good when you look back at it today. Yeah I guess that's it for uh, N64, it was mostly the usual titles there that you've already seen me show if you've seen my previous videos of course so uh, if you haven't seen them go check them out and here we got some controllers it looks like the more uh, newly produced stuff new controllers third party and yeah here is where it ends we're getting to the idle pictures now so uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, comment, like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.